It's Cinemassacre's Monster Madness, Godzilla Thought. Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, also known as Godzilla vs. Hedera, follows in the line of Godzilla's revenge, targeting it towards kids. Little kids. Little kids who get hopped up on sugar to the point that their brains operate on higher levels of existence and their supersensory nerves subject them to a fantasy world that exceeds that of an adult on the most powerful narcotics known to science. Basically, I'm just trying to say, this movie's really weird. Watching it is like going into a drug-induced mind trip. And even though I said it's geared towards kids, I really can't be sure. Some of it's actually pretty terrifying, like when the smog monster turns people to bones. There's also a scene in a dance club where this guy starts hallucinating and he sees everyone wearing fish masks. I don't know what this has to do with anything. Then there's all these weird animated scenes. It's like watching some kind of children's variety show. There's also a little science lesson about galaxies and nebulas. Yeah, I don't know. This movie's a mixture of horror, children's movie, 70's psychedelic exploitation, and Godzilla. Oh, really? Isn't that why we were here in the first place? Godzilla makes his first appearance coming up to the sunrise with some silly music. He's sure come a long way since he first menaced Tokyo, an icon of destruction, now a savior of the planet. But not in a cool superhero kind of way, in a, hey kids, be good to the earth kind of way. This movie has a theme song called Save the Earth, which plays constantly. Yeah, the smog monster is created from pollution, so the moral lesson of the movie is don't pollute, or else there'll be some weird shit monster that looks like a cross between Oscar the Grouch and the Blob. He's made of crap, so it's like Godzilla's battling a giant turd. Godzilla fights by waving his arms and dancing around. The smog monster fights by throwing Godzilla into a pit and dumping its body of dookie slime all over him. Ugh, it's nasty! He basically shits on everything in sight. I can't believe they did that to a cat. He can also shoot lasers at his eye. Big deal. Godzilla pretty much beats the shit out of him, literally. He just digs into Hetero's body, pretty much empties all his guts. It's the messiest monster battle ever. He also finds two white orbs. At first I thought that these were supposed to be his eyeballs, but you still see the eyes afterwards, so I don't know what the hell these things are supposed to be and why they're in the movie. The whole film is plagued by strange moments such as these. There's a scene where we watch a building crumble, and there's no sound effect or soundtrack whatsoever, it's just silence. Then there's a part where the kid spots Godzilla while up on a roller coaster. It does like this weird freeze frame and we see Godzilla silhouetted like a black splotch pasted on the background. I don't know, I've always just found this part really weird. Well, actually the whole movie's really weird. But nothing takes the cake like this. Just watch. I know, I felt the same way when I first saw this. Shocked and speechless. Even the chapter on the DVD menu says something you don't see every day. I agree. 